Hey gang, thank you for praying for each other. Uh, we've had a lot of needs in the church family of late. Thank you for remembering the Prince family in your prayers as Josh grieves the loss of his father. And thank you for remembering the Ballard family in your prayers as Rochelle prepares to undergo surgery on Monday. Uh, I did tell you that we would have heat by this weekend. We do not have heat. Uh, there is a company in Louisville uh, that is building custom-built uh, curb adapters. These are the things that go on top of the roof, and the HVAC, HVAC units sit on top of those curb adapters. Uh, they ran into a glitch with their supplier. They were waiting on materials, uh, and so that has delayed the installation of our heating and air conditioning units on the sanctuary children's side of the building. Uh, in talking with uh, all of the parties involved uh, Friday afternoon, I believe that if we have good weather, we should have that installed this coming week so that they don't anticipate any more glitches. Along those lines, I know things are starting to open back up, uh, and it's entirely possible that you have been wanting to get together with somebody uh, or another household but you've been reluctant to do so because you feel like your apartment's too small or your house is too small or you don't want to go to a coffee shop or something like that, we're going to open up the church sanctuary and lobby. It's a big lobby. It's a big sanctuary. You'll be able to sign up for some time slots, get a key, let yourself in, get together with that person, lock up after yourself and return the key. Uh, and we'll have steps and details spelled out for you on how to do that, but that will start up uh, once the heating and air conditioning is installed. As we reopen, and yes, we will reopen, okay? I want you to think of it as not something instantaneous, okay? So here's what's not going to happen. We're not going to hit a week where somebody flips a switch and everything goes back to normal. It's actually going to be in phases. And so when we reopen Sunday mornings, for example, what I would like to propose is that we do a modified version of our intergen worship every week for 30 days or so, uh, where everybody's in the room together, uh, but it's definitely kid-friendly. It's a little bit more fast-paced, um, and it also has in mind the kinds of changes and things that we need to make uh, understanding the coronavirus pandemic, right? Uh, but then, then may, perhaps the nursery and preschool will open and, and stuff like that. So I want you to think about things in terms of phases. And I want you to realize that some things might open up before others. So for example, uh, there might be an opportunity for smaller groups to start up before, say, uh, a worship service. So I just wanted to cue you in on that bits and pieces and phases aspect to how this will likely play out. Last but not least, please do me a favor. Sunday morning, January 24th, you will find a survey in your inbox, email inbox. Take five or 10 minutes out of your day and complete that survey. That's going to help me. That's going to help church leadership. Thank you in advance for taking the time, five or 10 minutes to complete that survey. I know this is a lot of information. There's a lot of stuff going on. In the meantime, if you ever have a question or you're concerned about something or you just want to chat, it is never an issue for you to reach out to me. I'm your pastor. I want to know. So pick up that phone, type that email, reach out. It's important. Hang in there and I will see you soon.